Welcome to Ben Num Design. Introduction to Computer. Course by Ben Num Design. Computer Basics What is computer and its advantages? What is a computer? Computer is an electronic device that takes data, instructions, and information as input and produce output, information, after processing it. It is a machine that processes thousands of instructions in less than a second and produces outputs as instructed or programmed. Advantages of computers 1. Efficiency Machines are more efficient than humans. They can perform millions of calculations with less effort in no time. 2. Reliability Work done by computer is more reliable than one done by humans. Computers perform according to the instructions given to it that makes output or results produced by these more accurate and reliable. For example, a computer can do millions of error-free calculation in less than a second. 3. Storage Computers give you an advantage of storing large amount of data in one place. For example, you can store the data of whole library in one computer. 4. Fast results Computers are capable of doing many difficult tasks in very short time. Every day the processing speed of computers is increasing to make them work faster. Latest computers are capable of performing thousands of instructions and calculation in less than a minute which used to take hours with old PCs. Introduction to Computer Basic Terms for Computer Part 2 Basic Terms for Computer Input, Input Devices, Output, Output Devices, Processing, Storage, Storage Devices, Hardware, Software Input Whatever goes into the computer is called input. For example, text, graphic sounds, etc. In everyday life the example for input is a voting slip in a ballot. Input devices. An input device is any peripheral, piece of computer hardware equipment, used to provide data and instruction to a computer, for example keyboard and microphone. Everyday life. Example is a hand that is used to put the voting slip in a ballot box. This hand is input. Device for ballot box. Output. Anything that comes out of a computer is called output. For example sound of a playing. Video in computer is the output. Output devices. An output device is a hardware used to get the output from the computer. For example. Headphones are output device and used for listening sound in computer. Processing. Computer is given the data and instruction as input, which is processed to create output in the form of information. Data is a raw form of symbols, numbers, images, etc., whereas information is an organized, meaningful and useful form of the data. For example, some data, student roll number, name, total marks, obtained marks etc. from the mid-exam is entered. Computer process the data and creates a report of pass and fail students. This report is more organized and useful for us and thus information rather than just data. Storage Storage, also referred as memory, is the ability of a computer to store data, information or instructions. It can save digital data on RAM, hard disks, or removable memory. Storage devices Storage devices are used to store data when they are not being used in memory. The most common types are USB drive, hard disks, and CD-ROM and DVD. Hardware Hardware refers to the physical elements of a computer. Examples of hardware in a computer are the keyboard, the monitor, the mouse, and the processing unit. In contrast to software, hardware is a physical entity, while software is a non-physical entity. Hardware and software are interconnected, without software, the hardware of a computer would have no function. Software How does a computer use its hardware? The term software refers to programs or sets of instructions that the computer uses to perform. Computer operations. Software can also be described as a collection of routines, rules and symbolic languages that direct the functioning of the hardware. Software is capable of performing specific tasks, 
as opposed to hardware which only perform mechanical tasks what they are mechanically designed for. We can think or write instructions, but cannot touch them. Characteristic of software Software is intangible, you cannot hold it like hardware. It is weightless. It does not exist as hardware. Software is used to operate the computer. Introduction to computer. Types of computers. Part 3. Types of computers. There are five basic types of computers. Supercomputer. Macrocomputer. Mobile computers. Laptop. PC. Mobile devices. Tablet. Supercomputers are the fastest computers, and because of their speed and memory, are capable of performing operations that would not be practical for PCs or mainframes. Mainframe computers. Mainframes are computers where all the processing is done centrally, and the user terminals are called dumb terminals since they only input and output, and do not process. Mainframes are computers used mainly by large organizations for critical applications. Typically bulk data processing such as census. Examples, banks and airlines. Examples. PTC, PIA, banks, and other organizations in Pakistan use mainframe computers. Microcomputers. PC is an abbreviation for a personal computer, it is also known as a microcomputer. Its physical characteristics and low cost are appealing and useful for its users. Throughout the 1970s and 1980s, home computers were developed for household use, offering some personal productivity, programming and games, while some with larger and more expensive systems. Although still low cost compared with many computers and mainframes, were aimed for office and small business use. Examples HP, Dell, IBM, and Apple Macintosh. Mobile computers. A portable computer is a small personal computer designed for mobile use. A portable computer integrates all of the typical components of a desktop computer, including a display, a keyboard, a pointing device, a touchpad, also known as a trackpad, or a pointing stick, and a battery into a single portable unit. Example Laptop computers Mobile devices Mobile device is a computing device that can set in hand easily. It has less computing power than personal computers. Example Book reader, digital camera, and smartphones. Embedded computers An embedded computer is a small and less computing power device that can be fixed as a component in any product. Example DVD player, digital TV, and photocopy machine. Introduction to computer. Hardware. Part 4. Hardware. Computer hardware. Hardware refers to the physical elements of a computer. Examples of hardware in a computer are the keyboard, the monitor, the mouse, and the processing unit. System unit. It refers to the box that encapsulates the processor, motherboard, CD drives, hard drives, memory, ports, etc. Terms related to the system unit. Following are the terms for external parts of computer casing. Computer casing is the box that houses the computer power button is used to switch on the computer. Lights shows the running status of the computer. CD-ROM is the input device used to read data from CDs. USB disk is the a small portable flash memory that plugs into a computer's USB port. Ports and pin sockets. It is an interface that links computer with other peripherals and monitor. Power connector is a socket used to supply power in computer. Power cable is used to supply power to monitor. USB port is a point of connection between a computer and other electronic devices. Such as webcam, scanner, printer, mouse, and keyboard. Keyboard port is a socket used to connect keyboard to the computer. Mouse port is a socket used to connect a mouse to the computer. Serial port is a socket on a computer that is used to connect scanner, mouse etc. It got 9 PINS. Parallel port is a socket at the back of the computer to connect printer. It got 25.
holes. Pin sockets are used to connect speakers, microphone. Drive bay is a place where hard drives are installed using screws. Power supply provides power to processors, motherboard etc. Motherboard holds together the central processing unit, CPU, memory and connectors for input and output devices. Processor is the brain of computer and does all the processing. Fan is used to cool down the processor to avoid it from being damaged. Our ancient is random access memory used by computer system to keep the running. Program here. Interface cards. Sound card is the interface used to produce sound via speakers. LAN card is used to develop a network, more than one computer connected to each other. How does computer works? Following diagram explain how a computer works in a very generic form. Data goes into Memory is input and from there it goes for processing. After processing it goes back to Memory, from memory it is sent as output or it is stored. Introduction to computer Input devices Part 5 Input devices Keyboard, microphone, scanner, digital camera slash webcam Keyboard It is an input device to give computer some input. It is like pen in writing. It is called Keyboard because it is comprised of a board with keys installed. Every key sends unique Information to the computer Microphone Microphone is used to input the sound to computer. It is used in motion pictures, radio, and television broadcasting etc. Scanner Scanner is a device that scans images, papers etc. to store them in computer for later use. Digital camera slash webcam These are input devices that input still images or video to computer. Introduction to computer Software and types of computer software Part 6 Software Computer software Software is a set of instructions. It cannot be touched. Hardware does not work without Software It gives instructions to hardware to perform some functionality. Software versions Software is developed and is periodically updated. When a software is updated and a new copy of this updated is available in the market it is called a new version of a software. For example, Types of computer software There are three basic types of computer software. One system software. Two utility software. Three application software. System software. It maintains and control computer hardware. There are two kinds of system software. One operating system. Two device drivers. Operating system. Operating systems manage and coordinate the activities of the computer hardware and other software. Device drivers. It manages hardware. Like a driver of a car. Operating system tells what to do to driver and then driver is responsible for action. For example operating system knows which driver to access when a print is required and then printer driver is responsible to take the print. Utility software. It manages hardware, operating system, or application software and performs specific task. It performs tasks like maintenance, troubleshooting, virus scanning etc. Disk scanner and antivirus are example of utility software. Application software. Software belongs to this category helps in daily life tasks like calculation, presentation, text editing etc. This is most commonly used to introduction to computer. Storage and types of storage devices. Part 7. Storage. Process of storing information in computer is called storage. The devices used to store data are called storage devices. Advantages of storages. Information at different places can be saved in computer and can be reused when needed. Types of storage devices 1 primary storage devices 2 secondary storage devices 1 primary storage devices Storage devices which are installed at the motherboard are called primary storage device. It is also called memory. 
Types of Primary Storage There are two types of primary storage devices. 1. ROM 2. REM ROM ROM stands for read-only memory. It is a storage device from which only stored information can be read. It can be modified, delete, or removed. It is like something written on stone that cannot be removed or changed once written. It is permanent storage device and data remains safe on ROM even when computer is off. It contains information related to computer startup process which is written at the time of memory manufacturing. Computer cannot start without ROM. REM REM stands for random access memory. It is like something written on send which is temporary and would be erased. It is temporary memory, also called volatile memory. REM stores information which is currently processed by computer. When power off, it loses all the information. Data can be read, stored, modified, or delete from the REM. Size of storage. For example Pakistan is consisting of 8 bytes. Byte is small unit. 1024 bytes equals 1 kilobyte, KB. 1024 kilobytes equals 1 megabyte, MB. 1024 megabyte equals 1 gigabyte, GB. Introduction to computer. Secondary storage devices, advantages, and its types. Part 8. Secondary storage devices. Why is secondary storage devices needed? RAM stores info temporary, whereas we can store information on ROM. So we need some place to store information, even when computer is off. It is also called non-volatile storage devices. For example USB disks, hard disks, compact disks, magnetic disks etc. Advantages of secondary storage devices. One more data can be stored as compared to primary storage devices. Two information remains there even if power is switched off. Types of secondary storage. One magnetic disks two optical disks. Magnetic disks. Hard disk is considered in this category. Hard disk. It is made of hard material, sealed in casing. More than one hard disk can be sealed in. A casing to increase the storage capacity in computer. Data is stored in circular form. Storage. Capacity of hard disk is very high and high volume of data can be stored here. Don't bring near magnets and should not place in high temperature area. Two optical disks. It is called optical disk because laser beam is used to read and write the data. Diameter is 4.75 inch, whereas width is less than 1 20th of an inch. It is easily portable device. There are four types of optical disks. CD-ROM CD stands for compact disk and ROM stands for read-only memory. It is read-only storage device, mostly used for audio, videos, etc. 600 MB to 800 MB data can be stored. It is easy portable devices. CDs should not be scratched. Write once read many, worm. It acts as CD-ROM after data are written on it once. It is used to store data information rewritable cds cds which can be read and write many times are called rewritable cds dvds dvd stands for digital versatile disc it was invented to store video only that is why previously it was called as a digital video disc its capacity is much greater dvd rom data can be read from it but cannot be written changed or deleted dvd ram it works like rewritable CDs data can be read, written, stored or removed from it. Storage capacity is huge from 4.7 GB to 9.4 GB. It is easily portable. Introduction to computer. Output, forms of output and monitors and its types. Part 9. Output. Computer output. It means taking something out from computer. Types of output. In general computer output is of two types. One soft copy. Two hard copy. 
Forms of output. Output devices. Printer, print text or image being safe in computer on paper. Monitor, output display. Speakers, output sounds being played in computer. Multimedia projectors, output multimedia. Monitors and its types. Whatever is on screen is called display. Monitor is like TV and it output the soft copy of software and programs in computer. Like regular TV, it has some buttons as well that includes power button and display adjustment buttons. Types of monitors. 1. CRT monitors. These are cathode ray tube monitors and commonly used for personal use. Examples are Philips Professional Brilliance 107P, Samsung Sync Master. 551V. 2 LCD monitors. Liquid crystal is used for the screen which is also used in scientific calculator. It got advantage over CRT monitors due to look, lightweight and compact size. These can be adjusted in less space. Examples are Samsung Sinmaster LCD, Sony LCD monitor. Introduction to computer. Internet. Part 10. Internet. Internet. Internet is network of networks. It doesn't belong to anyone and no one runs it. People around the globe access internet via telephone line or satellite. How to access it? Internet service provider, ISP, is a company or organization that connects the users with internet. ISP is always connected to internet and people who want to access internet, connect it via their local ISPs. It is used to share information and resources over internet. Services over internet. One World Wide Web. Two Email. World Wide Web. Web Mentnet. It was originally designed to share information among scientific community. But now it is the most popular way of sharing information. Web page is a resource of information written in HTML. Web browser is software that is used to view web page. Popular web browser. Internet Explorer. Mozilla Firefox. Google Chrome. Website. Website is a collection of related web pages. Every website has a unique address to access it. It is called Uniform Recourse Locator, URL. For example www.youtube.com is the URL for the YouTube slash BNUM underscore 23 website. Links provide us the access to other web pages and website. You may have seen links like Home, Contact Us, About Us etc. Advantage of web is availability of huge resource of information. For example, Temperature of different parts of world is available over the web and how to reach web. How to reach the web. 1. Connect telephone line to computer. 2. Connect to ISP. A. Enter ISP phone. B. Enter username and password to connect. 3. Open browser. 4. Enter URL and browse internet. Email. It is like regular mail just with a small difference that you need computer to read, write, or send email. It is used for communication between people who are at distance. Its delivery is faster, safer than regular mail. Probability of losing is very low and it can be viewed from anywhere in the world as it resides on internet. Email address is used to send email from one computer to another. E.G info at binum underscore 23 is an email address to send email to Virtual University of Pakistan. Email client. Email client is software to compose, send, receive, or read email. You can access your emails from anywhere in the world. All you need is email ID and password provided. This ensures authenticated access to your emails. Password is a secret word, used to uniquely identify the user. Some famous email clients are MS Outlook, Neo Mail, Lotus Notes, Popular email clients, Gmail, Hotmail, AOL, Yahoo Mail, Microsoft, Introduction to Computer, How to on slash off the computer, and Desktop Environment, Part 11, 
Starting the computer. Press the power button on system unit to start the computer. The area you will see on the monitor screen, after computer is start is called desktop. It is called desktop because you can use it like the top of the desk to place the icon or shortcut to your favorite programs or softwares. Icon is a graphical representation of files, folders, disk drives, toolbar buttons etc. Name of the icon, file, folder etc. is written just below it. The word icon came from the Greek word icon which means image. Still religious pictures are called icon in Greek. In Windows, these icons are links to software to open it with double click of the mouse. You can design such icons yourself as well. Taskbar is the bar at the bottom area of desktop, monitor screen. Icons of our tasks and software being used will appear here. It is called taskbar because it shows the tasks being carried out in computer. Microsoft Windows icon, start button, resides at the left side of the taskbar. At the right side of this button, quick launch bar exist. Icons reside here open their respective programs with single click. System tray exist at the right side of the taskbar, which may contain some icons like antivirus programs, firewall software etc. Icons in system tray represent programs which work in background. For example an antivirus program works consistently in the background to protect your PC from viruses and only icon display here. In the same system tray, there is a clock indicating the system time. It is called system clock. How to shut down the computer. Click on start, located at the bottom left side of the taskbar on monitor screen. A list of program names and commands will appear. Click on the option shut down. Clicking on shut down button will shut down your PC. Pressing power button of your computer during work may damage your PC and all data will be lost. How to restart computer. You may need to restart the computer. Why we restart computer? There can be several reasons for restarting computer. Like new installation of any software. Can ask for restart or computer suddenly stops working, halt. To restart your computer, click on start button at the taskbar. Click arrow to next shutdown. Button to open the shutdown drop down menu and select restart from the menu. It will shut down the computer and starts it again. Basic Windows Properties Click on My Computer icon. A new screen will open. It is called Computer Folder. A blue bar at the top of the window has buttons to restore down maximize slash minimize and close the window. Clicking on Minimize button to hide window on taskbar. Desktop can T be seen when any window is maximized. Clicking on cross button at right side of window will close window. Status bar and system information. Status bar. It resides at the bottom of the window. It provides some information related to that window. System information. Right click the computer. Window open which contains system information for example, name of operating system. Installed on computer and RAM capacity etc. Thank you. For watching.